How are we doing guys? Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see here, I have a Boost 350 box, which can mean only one thing. I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Cream White Yeezy. Ever since I've seen this one come about on Instagram and all social media, I've been so keen to get hold of it. And I literally signed up for all your raffles. I took a massive L when Adidas confirmed. But funny enough, I actually picked them up on Saturday morning, 8.30 when they released on adidas.co.uk slash Yeezy. So at the end of this video, I just want to do a brief bit on that and how I did that. So hopefully give you guys some tips and advice and then hopefully you can pick up a pair of Yeezys as well. But for now, I just want to get into reviewing these because I literally haven't even seen them yet. So here we go. Before we get into the unboxing, I just wanted to show you guys the box real quick. So there you go. You've got on the side, Boost. Then on the front, 350. Mm -hmm. On that side, Yeezy Boost 350, made by Adidas. Adidas.com slash Kanye. Then on the reverse side, you've just got the sizing, and I ended up taking the UK7. On that side, there's nothing, and then on the bottom, there's nothing either. So on all my other Yeezys, I've actually taken a size six and a half. They've always been too tight. I've always had to take the inner cells out. So in theory, this seven should fit. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be so triggered good because I went through so much stress to get these, but I'm confident they should be okay. Let's get into this unboxing. Here we go. Wow, these look amazing. There we go guys, the new cream white Yeezy 350 Boost. What? First impressions is I'm seriously impressed. I really like the look of this, now I've got it in hand. I can really have a look at the prime knit from looking at the upper as well. I can still see, if you just look faintly, you can still see like the stripe and like a tiny bit about the supply 350. Like it's, it's knitted in there, but it's really faint, which I really like, it's very nice and subtle. And it is the first Yeezy I've got with the ankle tab or the heel tab, is that whatever you call it? But um, there you go, have a look at that. They've taken that design off the V1. As you can see, the whole of the prime knit is completely white. The lace, the ankle tab, all white. However, the sole is a little bit off-white, a little bit creamy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 360 and I'm gonna put it up to the camera so you can see. There you go. And in my opinion, I think it just makes it so much better. If that was completely white, it wouldn't have looked as good. So shout out to Kanye for making that happen. That's a sick little extra. And then if we look on the inside, the only thing that isn't white as well, got some writing in there. Adidas, Adidas logo, and then Yeezy. Also, you've got your iconic three stripes, just along there. And then on the inside, you've got some padding. There's a pad on that side to add to the comfort. On the sole, you've got your boost technology. Boost technology is killing it right now. Every Adidas trainer is coming out with Boost technology and I don't blame them because they are the most comfortable trainers you can buy. But in my opinion, the Yeezy is the most comfortable trainer out there. If you just look at it from like the front view, it's a little bit wider in the middle of the trainer. That adds so much more comfort. Honestly, I've, I've got so many narrow trainers and they're just so uncomfortable. So having it a little bit wider just makes it so much more comfortable. Unbelievable. Gonna go to a few shots now, I'll be wearing it on feet. So I'm gonna talk about now how I bought these trainers. Like I said earlier, I bought them through adidas.co.uk slash easy on the morning of release, but there are three other ways you can do it. One, Adidas confirms. Two, raffles. Three, go on the website in the morning. One, Adidas confirms. So annoying. I can't stand Adidas confirms. Obviously, if I started winning on it, I'd love it, but I've never once won anything on it, so that's why I hate it. But there are a few tips and tricks that you can maybe use to try and get yourself a pair. If you're doing not getting a pair, let me know, comment down below. Yes, it's an absolute nightmare. So what you have to do is, you have to close down all your apps, close them all down, then put your phone in flight mode, then try to connect to the strongest internet, whether you're in your house or you're outside somewhere, just make sure it's the strongest connection, because you need to be in sync with the clock that's ticking down. So after that, I'd say about 20 seconds, 25 seconds before zero, close it down and reopen it. So it should be fresh and it should be in sync with the timer. But obviously as soon as, as, soon as it hits um, like five seconds, you've got to be tapping your screen. Tap, 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 tap. And 
and then hopefully you can reserve a pair. Two, raffles. So I think raffles are a really good way of doing it. It's, it's the only fair way, if I'm honest with you. For these, I actually signed up to Browns for the Black Friday drop. They dropped the coppers, lime greens, and the pinky reds, which are dead in my opinion. But um, I actually ended up winning, obviously, these and the coppers, only because I got my parents to sign up. You just got to think, like, if you're signing up to one raffle, and you've got like two other people that can sign up for you, of course, you've got to sign them up as well, because it just increases your chances. I signed up for about 10, signed my parents up as well, so that's 30 possible chances to win. And out of the 30, I only got two, so pretty crazy, but I mean, when you win a raffle, it's such a good feeling. Like, I didn't know until like a week later, so I was already there like depressed, like, oh, like no, I missed out on all the easies, it's so, so annoying, but yeah, parents got an email, won both pairs. Third, adas.co.uk on release morning. <sighs> right, the trick for this is to have a few servers open. You don't want to have about 100 open because you'll just literally lose track. The, the way I did it and the way I was successful, I had my iMac, I had my iPhone, and then an iPad. So I had all three of them there, all ready to go, all signed into my Adidas account, all PayPal ready to go. You need to have PayPal ready, it's absolutely essential. Because if you're just typing in your card details and your address, it's gonna be slow. Some other guy might quickly get on the product page and buy stuff in PayPal less than 15 seconds and beat you to it. So that's how important PayPal is. It could be between you getting them or not. So yeah, they go live at nine o'clock in the morning, but you need to be set up and ready to go by 8.30, quarter to eight, 10 to, that kind of thing. And um, literally I was having no luck whatsoever. I had my feet up, I was watching X-Men, I had a cup of tea, and um, one of my friends actually got them, and I was just like, oh, this is it, I'm never gonna get them, my internet connection's dead, it never goes through. And next thing you know, I refreshed it a few times, refreshed it again, and then I was on the product page. And I've never seen the product page before, so it was a bit strange. And it literally just has the size and the trainer. It's as simple as that. You select your size. Obviously, um, go through the payment details. If you've got PayPal up, you can do it in less than 15 seconds. That's what I did, and here we go. I've got them. So, yeah, I mean, that's my breakdown on how to win them. It is quite simple. It sounds simple, but it's not simple, I can assure you. The only way you can really get them is persistence. Persistence is key. So, yeah. All in all, really impressed with the trainer, and I'm looking forward to wearing them. Off the back of this video, if you do get lucky on a raffle, on the confirmed app, or if you get for an ADAS, please do let me know. I love hearing a story about how someone wins their Yeezys. It's always like a little moment of triumph. And if you haven't won just yet, or if you haven't been lucky enough to get through on any pages, don't stress whatsoever. Stay consistent. There's gonna be so many Yeezys dropping over this summer months. They usually drop every once, every one month to every two months. So keep your eyes peeled on this channel. I'll be sure to let you know what's going on. And if you've watched this whole video, I can only say thank you. Honestly, this channel isn't just going to be about trainers, it's going to be about loads of things. I've got loads of cool content planned, all things you guys will hopefully find useful. So all I can ask is if you like this video, if you subscribe, keep your eyes peeled, and I'll see you on the next one. My name's Charlie Turner.